the years that I've been using them, MIDI has really come on a long way in both Mixbus and in Arda. I've gone from really struggling with their way of doing things to really liking it. I recently heard someone else say on a forum that they struggled with the workflow, and I thought it'd be a fun thing to do a video on how to do a simple drum pattern just to show how easy it is. This is also very useful if, like myself, you're recording in a small home environment and can't have a drum kit. I was using hydrogen, but now I've found I can program up all the drums that I need directly in Mixbus. I'm using the gorgeous Mixbus 6, but it also works in Ardra as well. And we'll be using the timeline, which is pretty much the same in both, and I'll drop in a still here. Mixbus is based off of Arda. Depending on what version you have, the controls will be slightly different, but the functions are just about the same. But let's get our basics set up. First of all, you need to set your tempo. I'll leave that at 120 beats a minute. You can change that. I'll leave it at 4-4. Always turn on snap as that snaps events onto the right time. And we'll set the grid to eighth notes, which is just a basic, simple, sane setting for drum programming. Again, you can change that as you need it. And by the way, I'm using my little friend here, Cordless Mouse, because Mixbus has functions that work with the middle wheel and the middle click. Let's create our MIDI track by clicking there. So right click, choose MIDI track. We'll choose one of the built-in drum kits, the Black Pearl drum kit. There is a wealth of options out there these days, but this is just built in, so it's handy. Normally, I would do it fanned out for mixing purposes to get a nice sound. But as this is a quick and dirty video, we'll just do the simple one-track version. The one thing I would do is give it a useful name so it makes sense on the timeline later, then add and close. And there we have our drum track. We now need to open it for editing. So if we go to the bottom, left click, and then we drag it down, and that exposes the keyboard and the sounds. We need the keyboard showing C2 and above, is that's where the main drum sounds lie. You click in the middle on the gray area and you just pull it down until it's showing. There's the kick. The areas above and below are for resizing, so we won't worry about those now. Some people prefer doors that have a pop-up window for this function. I like the way that Mixbus does this. I love the way you can work on two windows simultaneously. For example, using drum sounds together from two kits, as you can see from the still that I've just dropped in. The next thing you have to do is create a region to hold the pattern. So we need the draw tool and you left click you drag and you've created your bar and then you put the notes in there with the mouse if you're not sure how long a bar is there's a bars and beats marker that runs along the top or you can just put the metronome on and just play it for a bar notice that with mix bus it's usually set for drawing lengths of melodies but that's not really suitable for what we want to do here let me just delete that so what you do you go to the area here right click note mode and select percussive and there you get these nice diamonds that are very good for drum programming if you've not done this before a good simple tip is put in four hi-hat beats there and that gives you a good visual guide Look, you can change those later depending on how clever you want to be. So let's just do kick, snare, kick, snare. Now, if we want to hear what we've got, let's use a grab tool, select it, right click, use the part name, and then loop. I'll stop that. We can make this more complicated. By the way, you can use the L key on the keyboard if you're more a keyboard sort of person. So I've put in the eighth beats there. And let's go bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. 
When you get a line of um, hi-hat hits like that, I like to humanize them. If you use the internal edits, you click up there, you drag it across, you right click, and you choose transform. Velocity, by the way, is how hard your virtual drummer is hitting the instrument. And most drummers would not hit each note perfectly the same. And that's what we're trying to recreate. So set velocity to a random number. For the sake of argument, we'll choose between 50 and 60. And you can always play around with these. Transform. And now these hi-hats, if you look at them, velocity 57, velocity 55, they're not the same. If you want to manually change the velocity, just mouse over. And you can literally just wheel the velocity down. Let's hear what we've got again. If you want to make this song length, just use the grab tool, select, right click, choose the part, go down to duplicate, and then you choose multi duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this for the sake of argument, 90 beats. And there you have a song length part. All along with this, I would be pressing Control S, which is the save keys. Always save your work, just in case. And there you have a basic song length pattern. If I'm laying down a song, I like to put down a simple pattern like this, add a guide guitar, add maybe a bass, and then when they're laid down, you can actually program the more complicated parts of the drums when you've got something to work against. That is how easy it is to make a simple drum part in Mixbus or in Arda. I hope you found it useful. If there's enough interest, I'll do something on doing more complicated drum patterns or song length drum patterns. Thanks for watching.